We're back at EBM Speaks, and damn it, it ain't safe for you, Jack Boy. But even though it's not safe for you, you still outside like it's safe for you. Cause at the end of the day, we used to jack cars together. So you think I ain't gonna find your car and jack into it? Because we could have been superstars. But damn it, you out here doing interviews like it's safe for you. But we have Jack Boy up at Rap Radar Podcast discussing a whole bunch of things about his relationship with Kodak Black. So, speaking on the relationship that he has with Kodak Black and the diss track, Super Gremlin, that is currently a top 10 hit right now, Jack Boy had this to say. He said that that thing is a smash, it's gas. Interviewer was like, yo, bro, like, how do you feel about Super Gremlin? And Jack Boy was like, yo, bro, it's gas. What do you do? It's a hard song. I ain't mad. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's tough. For real, like, like, it's hard. And honestly, you cannot not say that it's not hard. Super Grandma, it, 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 like, like, creeping out like roaches. You know what I'm saying? Free me, baby. Can't keep me, baby. They want me dead when I'm on probation. Y'all think Lil Yak retorted. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I promise. Who you know saying, I'm on they ass like Charmin. Because I noticed some moments that we thought... Kodak was really off his rocket. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I feel like he playing a character. All this, anything that, that happens on a, on a damn camera screen, I don't really believe. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I think somebody playing a character, I think that you're not really showing me your true self because there's a damn camera here. You think that they don't know that the cameras is here? Like, cameras are mad big. Like, let's keep it stacked. Like, like, cameras are huge. Like, lenses, especially like we're dealing with this level of music industry, lenses are huge. So it's like, people may be so comfortable that they may end up saying things that they don't necessarily mean in that moment, but at the same time, they're also playing a character, bro. Who cares? Like, they know that there's a life outside of the camera that they can differentiate from their actual existences. You feel what I'm saying? But Jack Boy is out here doing his interview, and I, I, I have to give Jack Boy props, bro. I gotta give you flowers. I'm a person, I, I'm not no hater, bro. I just gotta get up here and I talk my ish. You know what I'm saying? I make videos, but it's like, Jack Boy, bro, I'm gonna give you damn flowers. You was an unattractive looking dude for quite some time, and I'm very heterosexual, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, but at the same time, you can, you can acknowledge, I never got when people be like, yo, bro, you a heterosexual dude, how you gonna call another male dude? Cause I have eyes. What you mean? Like, like, bro, I have eyes. I can tell if you're an unattractive dude. Does not mean that you're not gonna get women. Because I've seen some unattractive dudes pull baddies. Maybe they was funny, they was confident. There's way more in life than just looks. You feel what I'm saying? So you could pull women or you could you could get the partner of your choosing while being unattractive. You was an unattractive dude. I'm looking at this video, I'm like, oh yo, bro, my son blowed up. Seriously. I'm giving you your flowers. I'm giving you your flowers. I'm giving you your flowers. You glowed up, my dude. You glowed up, my dude. The hair, the, the the different color, the smile here now. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. You doing good. You know what I'm saying? You forced my hand. You forced my hand. You, I didn't want you to force my hand, but you forced my hand to tell you that, bro, you doing good. You look good, bro. You look good, bro. You look good, bro. Keep it up. Keep up the skin routine. Keep getting your hair dyed. And, and you know what I'm saying? Increase the leg. You're, look, you're looking good. You're looking, you're looking, you know what I'm saying? You're looking put together and camped. I like that. You know what I'm saying? But we have, we have Jack Boy who also said, yeah, that'd be gas. But they like my instudo. Don't okay? get you know what I'm saying? Like, they like my instudo. Which is mad funny because, like, bro, two people can be ops, oppositions. They can hate each other, right? Put out diss tracks. Where they're just telling you, though, I'm gonna kill you when I see you. When I run into you, guns is out. When I run into you, pull your gun out. Cause I'm gonna click until that bitch is finished. On the road with the chop still moving too hot, like, bro, K, yo, listen. Shout out K Flock, but we have Jack Boy saying, yo, bro, they know my ish is gas. They gas, but they like my thing too. Because at the end of the day, he forced their hand. Please put it on force my hand up here, we'll go down. Please put it on force my hand and you put it inside my pride. I flew the evil lady, said I'm ready for whatever. I'm feeling like you're gambling me down, feeling like the feeling like the devil. Like he was cooking on that. With the fast flow, people put it on force my hand up, people gonna die. Like he had, he had, he had the, 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 the rolled R and everything. People put it on force my hand up, people gonna die. People put it on force my hand and me put it on my pride. I put the able lady said I'm ready for whatever. I feel it like I'm gonna die, feel it like I'm feeling like the devil. Like that's hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Both of them days was gas. That's probably what, like like we really gotta acknowledge this while this is happening right now. Probably one of the best diss track battles we've seen in the last like five years because sometimes. One person comes out with a hard diss track, 
The other person could have a weed distract. Let's keep it. Let's keep it hundred. Going back to the last time we've seen a hit like this in the last ten years come out of a diss track. I'm talking about Super Gremlin. Jack Boy is a hit. The Don't Force My Hand is a very fire song. Honestly, when I listen to Super Gremlin, I can't listen to Super Gremlin without listening to Don't Force My Hand. People put it on force my hand and people are gonna die. People put it on force my hand and me put it on my pride. You know what I'm saying? I can't bump. I can't bump. We could have been super, superstars without saying, "Please be put it on force my hand or people are gonna die." You know what I'm saying? Like I can't do one without the other, right? But the last time this happened, when a hit came out of it, because at the end of the day, you know, Super Gremlin is more of the hit than Don't Force, don't force My Hand. The last time a hit came out of this, back to back Drake, Meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of say, I guess maybe who I smoke with uh, Fulio and, and Young and Ace when I see you, but at the end of the day, those are samples. Yes, it's a sample and, and Super Gremlin, but it's more of an original song than Who I Smoke. Who I Smoke is a straight up sample from, you know, Old Girl. You know what I'm saying? And, and then When I See You is straight up Fantasia song that Fulio made mad violent. You know what I'm saying? But those are still hit songs too. Very dope songs. They changed both of those individuals' careers, right? But we're talking about hits, bro. Hits. Drake, back to back. Got a drink and me going back to back. Yeah, I'm going back to back. Got the drink and me going back to back. I took a break from views, now I'm back to that. Six! He telling you that he took a break from views to record a diss track that turned into a smash. Guess what? Guess what Meek Mill came out with? I wanna know! What an Undertaker beat. We all know it wasn't good, bro. I don't even gotta say no, no disrespect, cause I'm not trying to disrespect, but this song was butt cheeks, bro. Both of me, he dropped two of them. Drake dropped two of them too, I'm not gonna lie. I'm charged up, I like charged up. Charged up was cool, it was mint. That was mint, that wasn't, if, if Drake only dropped charged up, it, it would've been raps. It would've been one of the, the mintest diss track battles that happened. Trust me, like you can, you can check out EBA Music Media on TikTok. I do mad diss track songs comparisons. I don't care about the, the beef itself. I like the damn music. If you guys come out with hit songs, I'm a listen. And I'm gonna make a post about it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can beef, just drop music. Don't kill each other. You know what I'm saying? Stay alive. But drop the music though. You know what I'm saying? Drop the music. I'm above that genre. No capital. And I'm gonna make some content about it. You think what I'm saying? But damn it, that beef was one sided. Meek Mill's getting his ass pulverized. No cap. On oh, wax. Meek was getting pulverized, even though he he dropped information about Drake, cool, with the damn ghostwriter stuff, whatever. But who won the musical diss track battle? You lost to Meek, facts. You know what I'm saying? So, last time we seen a hit come out like that, it was it was back to back. But this is a very, like, it was an even battle, bro. I don't remember such an even battle coming out of two individuals that are clearly, yeah, we have subliminals and different songs, whatever. These are two individuals that are clearly dissing each other, very clearly. Very direct disses, and they're both awesome songs. So shout out to that, you know what I'm saying? I do believe that Kodak Camp think that Jack Boy song is hard because it is a, it's a fire song. Just because of this track, it, you can't say it's not a fire song. But that's what I was going back to in the previous point. These people, they can be ops. And they'll still listen to each other's songs. Like, we have D-Thang. I remember seeing D-Thang, the Bronx Joe rapper. He, him and his homies was listening to, to If You Know You Know by B-Love, where he's literally saying, I can't wait till I cancel the D-Thang. I let the he say not he in a song. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm confused. You bumping a song and this man is straight up saying, I can't wait till I catch you, you're gonna die? I don't get it. But in this case, this is a smash. I'd rather somebody make a smash this song about me, and I'd make a smash this song back before we actually kill each other. Because at the end of the day, we could have been superstars. Nah, F that ish. No, we couldn't. The main ones who be hating on you be the main ones you thought that what it? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to EBN Music Media. Turn on the post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to Taylor L. Jazz Vlogs for more story times, travel vlogs, and hotel reviews. Definitely go ahead and follow Taylor L. Jazz on Instagram for more funny, satirical content. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz. And you're watching EBN Speaks.